Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks a lot for checking out my videos. Um, today, we're going to focus on the week of February the 7th through to the 14th. This is the month of the lovers. It's the month of Valentine's Day. And I always hear people say, well, you know, they shouldn't have just one day where you give out um, postcards or um, cards or chocolates to somebody that you care about. It should be every day, and that is true. Love should be expressed all of the time, every day, to everyone that's around you. Um, sometimes you have extenuating uh, circumstances where you live with people that have issues, that um, perhaps love is not there anymore, or they're not seeing things in the proper perspective, and I do understand that that can happen. Then it's time for you to uh, start looking at things from a different perspective that maybe it's not a good place for you to stay if you want to uh, keep working at it then that's fine but if not if you're exhausted and, and the energy has been depleted then it's time to go um, but for the most part you should always express uh, love that's what we're here to do how to learn unconditional love and to be able to express it you know with all of your actions and all of your thoughts and everything that you say if you're not able to do that, then you're living with someone that doesn't have the same resonance that you do. It doesn't mean that they can't express love, that they can't show love, and you can't either. It's just that you guys are not vibrating on the same level anymore. Something has happened. One of you is growing, the other one isn't, or you're growing in different directions. And again, it's time to leave. <laughs> because otherwise, you know, you can, you're can you able to resist or, or be able to sustain a, some type of an amicable relationship with someone. But if you can't, then it's time to go or it's time to end that relationship or at least start making plans to do so because sometimes it doesn't change it just gets worse the longer you stay in something like that and then you're just showing the universe that you like abuse you know and it brings you more of it from other people that start to show up in your life you'll start to see the same thing being reflected back and that's always a bad thing so if you are in a relationship that's not worthy then you need to start making your plans to go on the other note um, Valentine's Day is a wonderful day to show someone that you care. Um, be extra nice, take them out to dinner that night and just make it about them. You know, it's Valentine's, you're making it about your true love. Um, you might even give something to someone that has no idea that you have a crush on them or vice versa. You know, you can express new love on that day where, as you've been keeping it a secret for a very long time. I mean, there's certain things that you can do that's really special on Valentine's Day. So I, I always like that. Even if you don't have a romantic partner, you can show the people that, that live with you that you love them by giving them gifts or, you know, just do a little something extra. It doesn't have to be the moon or the stars, but it can just be a card and some chocolates or some flowers or, uh, you know, something that they really like, something that you know that the people that are with you like. And on that note, uh, I don't know if I already said, the reading is going to focus around the days of the 7th all the way through to Valentine's Day, which is, I think, next Sunday, a week from now. Um, so, happy Valentine's Day, guys, for those of you that are in a relationship. For those of you that are not in a relationship, happy Valentine's Day. Be sure to give yourself something really, really special that day uh, that reminds you of a Valentine's Day that you may not have had a relationship but one is coming if that is what you want and if you don't want a relationship with anyone and you're super super happy with yourself then take yourself out to dinner that night or do something extraordinarily happy just for yourself which is a thing nowadays and with COVID I mean we've had to all change the way that we live the people that we um, resonate with the people that we hang out with the people at work everything has changed in our lives and some of it has been good but some of it hasn't been so good because we're not really able to get out and mingle and go out somewhere and meet new people but it's not it's not impossible to do so we still can it just takes a little longer and we're more choosy now which which is good <laughs> we don't want to make a mistake when we're choosing the next partner we want to make sure that everything is uh, going in the right direction anyway let me stop talking and get on with the reading. I do have some cards here already that show me that in some cases, if we are not happy, we've got the Eight of Cups. It's time to look at how we interact in relationships. What do we want from a relationship? How do we feel in the relationship that we are in right now, whether it's romantic or it's familiar 
or it's the people at work if you're totally by yourself and uh, and only the people at work resonate with you and they you're they're your mirror and you're theirs because this is a very reflective life one way or the other we are reflecting back to each other whether it's people at work whether it's your neighbors whether it's your family whether it's a romantic partner this is the only way that a soul learns it has to have an interaction with other souls and other other beings you know in order to know what they need to know to grow spiritually because that's what we're here to do we're here to learn how to love unconditionally ourselves and others and there's a lot of lessons and there's a lot of other souls that give up their time to help us learn this okay whether we are in a romantic relationship or not those are the ideal relationships to help us learn lessons because they get the closest to us they can hurt us the most and love us the most and that's basically what we're we're learning um, so in these cards the very first card that came out this is while I was shuffling I'll pull cards later was the eight of cups the eight of cups is not being totally satisfied with your emotional life wanting something better wanting something more knowing that there's work to be done in order to achieve something more in your life that's more fulfilling where you're concerned when it comes to love we also have the page of pentacles that says that you're going to be investigating exactly what that is what is it that makes your heart tick what is it that makes you happier emotionally more satisfied more fulfilled wanting to live a more fulfilling life and finding the ways in order to do so and during this week because it's valentine's week because others will be talking about it perhaps and you'll be thinking about it so it's time to um, figure out what makes you happier and go in that direction so that you're not missing out on another Valentine's Day next year by yourself um, hoping that somebody gives you something or that somebody asks you out if that's your case or being in a relationship that's unfulfilling but if you are in a great relationship congratulations because you are the minority at this point because there's a lot of relationships in trouble due to the COVID happening and due to other issues that are extremely um, difficult to overcome losing your home losing your job being stressed out about money there's so many things that can happen there that is happening right now and it's giving us that sense of unfulfillment when it comes to our emotional life or being in a relationship that is not emotionally satisfying it's uh, sexually unmatched or it, it's, it's not um, fulfilling when it comes to sex or when it comes to finances or when it comes to emotional support you know from your partner something is not balanced there and you need to find a happy medium and if that doesn't work then you need to figure out what is it within yourself that you need to work on in order to not repeat it when you move forward into another with another relationship or into another um, stage of your life and bring those things with you you don't want to do that and that's where the page of swords comes in looking into what's happening how you can improve your lot or your life and then moving forward in in a happier way and, and walking away from a relationship that's unfulfilling no matter what it is we also have the five of cups that shows that there's something that isn't quite right with the choices that you have made or uh, with the family that you live with at this time there's something that's happening that isn't quite right and it's 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 leaving you very unfulfilled so in a sense it's time to move on one way or the other or try to help uh, the situation a little bit more if it's possible in any way um, there's always a chance that you can fix the things that you know in your relationship or whatever's happening in your life or within yourself there's a chance that you can always fix it and there's also a chance that you can just walk away and start over it's only your mind that keeps you trapped thinking that you can't do this but for the most part we all can we all can move forward and and stop putting pressure on ourselves or emotional baggage on ourselves that it doesn't belong to us it belongs to someone else or we can release it if we don't want it anymore or, or want to help or deal with it anymore it's a possibility it can be done the next card is the queen of cups the queen of cups is very nurturing 
very kind woman that can you can talk to someone that you can go that might have an ear out for you and help you when it comes to your emotional life or to emotional issues this could also be representing you, a very kind, loving person that's trying to help the people around them. Uh, but it, it can also be abusive for them. You know, it could be heartbreaking because you're trying to help, but it's not being seen, it's not being appreciated, and you're being uh, abused somehow, you know, in some way. So it could be time for this lovely Queen of Cups to to look at her book of life and see what things does she not want to repeat in her lives? What direction does she not want to go in? What choices did she make prior that have put her in a situation of unhappiness so that it doesn't happen again? And try to focus on what is going on within herself. How can she help herself? She's got her cup of love here. It could be a cup of wine for some people. But I tell you, drinking or getting high or doing something that inebriates your mind so that you don't have to think about your problems it's usually not a good way to go either so if that's what that cup represents to you it's not going to help the problem it actually makes it worse because alcohol makes you depressed this could be a scorpio woman that you're dealing with as well a, a water sign that they become depressed when they drink and there's nothing that you can do to help them they have to help themselves they have to stop but you could point it out to them that their personality completely changes when they're getting drunk. Um, sorry, that's just for somebody, I don't know. I don't drink, so it's not representing me. I never drink. Very rarely do I drink. Um, last time I drank was a cup of wine and it was for New Year's. And I drank by myself and it was only one. And it was very boring. But um, this, this card could represent a very nurturing person that can assist you with this situation that you may have when it comes to romance or loving yourself. This could also represent you, someone very kind and loving that needs to look out for herself more, okay? There's also, the Two of Cups is right next to that, so there's someone that would make a very good match with you if only you would allow yourself to have this person come into your life. Sometimes we put up walls that keep other people away from us but there's someone that's coming for this person that is going to be a lot like them that's going to truly love them because there's going to be a lot of healing that goes on within this person and within this relationship so this person that comes is going to be very helpful it will help heal this person this could also represent you with someone in your life that's already there that you can help heal them by just showing them love showing them how much you care maybe they need to know that um, it could be a relationship that already exists in your life that you're having issues with and you're thinking about walking away then maybe you just need to talk to that person a little more and find out exactly what's going on for those of you that are single this could be a person that that you know that is getting a divorce that is separating from their already existing relationship they're walking away from it and it's and it's leaving them a bit heartbroken but um, eventually they'll come around and getting to know you getting to uh, be with you is going to be very healing for the both of you and you'll realize just how how supportive this relationship is going to be in the future uh, for the both of you So this week is going to be a, a lot about love because most of the cards that I have here are all cups. So it's emotions, working on your emotional life, on, on the people around you, on your relationships with others, whether it's romantic or not, uh, mostly romantic. There's five of pentacles. You may have to do this work on your own because uh, you may not have a whole lot of help from the people around you. Five of pentacles is the card of doing something on your own, not having a lot of support um, from others. Financially, you might feel like, you know, you can't get away right now from the relationship that you're in if, if it's not working out for you. So it's going to be a lot of hard work, the Eight of Cups, in order to balance out this relationship that you have. For some of you, it's, it's almost better that you just leave <laughs> this commitment that you have put yourself in. 
you know, because it's not, it may be a lot of hard work and it may take you a long time because you would be doing all the work by yourself to try to fix this this relationship. We have the, uh, the Knight of Wands next to it saying, yeah, it's time to move. You probably would be better off because you could actually manifest for yourself a better relationship or a better life in the future wherever you're going. There will be something waiting for you there. A more committed relationship that's more your style. Uh, better resonant with you. You know, you're, right now you're just dealing with someone that is uh, not very good. And I, I don't know why this this reading went in this direction, but it's very sad, you know. It's the, Emotionally, it's very sad. So for some of you, you have a, a lot of issues with your relationships. And for others, it can be fixed, but it's going to be hard work. So it's up to you whether you can uh, work on that or not, or would like to. We have temperance. Temperance says, yes, you need to balance your emotional life along with your physical life to, to get a better hold of that and there's going to be a, a big transformation we have the death part here of what's going on in your life at this time there's going to be a lot of changes we have the ten of wands you have a lot of responsibilities on you that you really need to get rid of you know in order for you to be happy and we have the six of cups so that could represent someone coming from the past and a soulmate that you already know or someone new that comes from a past life that really really cares about you or will um, and they're going to take some of this burden away from you. It'll balance your life a bit more than what it is at this time. Because it's totally unbalanced from what I could tell. For some of you. But for others, there's going to be a lot of transformation of your relationship, of your existing relationship. You're going to find a better balance as you move forward. Nostalgia might help you as remembering what it was when the relationship was new when the relationship was young that might be helpful you know before you had so many responsibilities on you it might help relieve some of that pressure we have the ace of wands so something new that begins because you team up with other people you start to look into the future as to what you can do how you can change your life and then something wonderful begins because of it you do have the strength in order to achieve these things. You have the strength to move forward. Whether it is in the relationship you're in now, what's going on in your home life at this time, to work on it, to fix it, to heal it. You have the power to do so. It's just going to be a lot of hard work. And even if you were to move or move away, you do have a lot of strength in order to do that. You'll be able to handle it. Okay, And you may even have someone that comes in from the past to assist you. Right now you're working through a lot of karmic, karmic energy, karmic relationships, trying to work on balancing some karma out, but at times, you know, it can become very taxing, you know, and you have to just, like, give it up, leave it alone. And you will win in the end, because here's the sun card. Spending time outdoors, spending time with others. Getting out in the sun, feeding yourself some vitamin D, which right now we're really low on it from having to stay indoors for almost an entire year, which is not any fun. So spending time outside will hopefully clear your head a little bit and give you more of a direction as to where to go, what to do next, how you can help the people that you are with at this time, if that is what you wish to do. But this week is going to be a little tough when it comes to, when it comes to romance when it comes to working on stuff. Let's see what other cards have to show, because those are pretty bummer, huh? <laughs> I didn't like them. Cleaning house, releasing emotional baggage. And then the B, lucky industrious, industriousness. Sweet victory, focus. Cleaning house, cleaning house, cleaning emotional baggage, trying to work on the relationship as it, as it is at home, as it exists, and being very lucky, being victorious, by taking your time to get to know the people that you're with and find out what in the world is going on with them. You know, we need to focus as well on the path ahead of us, which direction we want to go in, how we want to work on this to change our lives for the better. And we have the mystery. 
not knowing exactly where we're going, but being focused on our intuition so that it can guide us as to which way would be the luckiest way to go. And this here is the symbol of Libra, more of a balance when it comes to your emotional life. And you'll have protection from your guides and your angels. They'll protect you as you move forward. They'll protect your emotions as well so that you don't get carried away. But you need to find a happy medium when it comes to your emotions and keep them under control. That strength card before represents outbursts, being able to control your inner fire, your temper, your emotions. Keep them under control so that the people around you can't push your buttons while you're trying to help them, you know. Creative projects is going to help a lot because it'll unite you with others if you get busy doing some type of a creative project and pull them into it to try to help, you know, that way you can help yourself. You're very wise. You're very wise and the wisdom that you have of the things that you've already been through can help you with the imbalance that is in your life at this time when it comes to relationships. It's time that your real you comes out. I think I got that card earlier today when it comes to there's a new love heading heading your way, heading our way. But we need to really show who we truly are and what's really going on in our lives in order for the walls to come down and a new love to step in. Again, meditation. Through meditation, you may be able to see the person that's coming into your life or a better relationship that's being lined up by the universe for you and for me as well. you'll see the person in your dreams or you'll have dreams that will help guide you there's also a lot of dream books that you can buy and when you have symbols or certain things in your dreams that stand out look up their meaning once the guides notice that you look at a certain place for certain things they'll start showing you more things so you can look them up and you can kind of build a puzzle from your dreams that way just the symbols be sure to approve of yourself to love yourself, to like the way that you are in order to be able to move forward, okay? You need to really know that you're in the right, do right by yourself and by others and approve of yourself always so that you can move forward. That's when the blessings are going to start pouring in from the universe, okay? Because there is, once you start showing who you truly are, there is new love or your love can, can improve the romantic partnership that you have now can improve. This is a divine moment for things to happen in your life, for you to make changes, positive changes when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to your romantic relationships, when it comes to learning about your spiritual self, learning about yourself. Your true self will start to show to others, and that's what you need to do. That's what is being advised. Show others who you truly are. Don't hide yourself out of fear of them getting to know you. Who cares? They're supposed to get to know who you are. Because somewhere along there, the blessings will come because of it. Meditation will help you open up your mind to the possibilities of life, other lives, other, other opportunities that could be out there that you may not have even thought about. But meditation helps a lot with that. And approving of yourself helps a lot with that as well. Your dreams will start to talk to you. Pay attention to your dreams. And the blessings are, are coming. This is the divine moment for them to come in, so don't discount that at all whatsoever. Just because you're having a rough patch at this time when it comes to relationships doesn't mean it's going to continue. It's just that right now, maybe with all the things that are going on, and you're going through a rough patch, but you're not alone. We're all going through rough patches together, whether it's one way or the other, so keep that in mind. more blessings blessings are going to be revealed to you secrets are going to be revealed messages will come to you your guides are going to be talking to you your angels are going to be talking to you and more revelations will come that will help you with your emotional life that will help you with moving forward okay let me see what it says listen to your life the right path will reveal itself once you get to know yourself more and you're more approving of 
who you are and what you love, the right path is going to show up. And you'll know for sure. Blessings. Blessings are coming our way. So this is a different deck with the same message. There are blessings. Do not give up. No matter how bleak things might seem, something wonderful is headed our way. Count your blessings. A grateful heart attracts more joy, love, and prosperity. So the more you appreciate everything that you're going through, even the rough patches, the more wonderful things are going to show up in your life because we have to know what's bad in order to appreciate what's good. We have to experience things. And if you continually stay in a place where you're unhappy, then you're telling the universe that that is what you like. But that is just a sign to let you know that you're you'll be better off somewhere else that, that that lesson is learned that path is closing and it's time for you to start looking in a different direction and the only way that the universe can do that is by you starting to feel uncomfortable that something is wrong that something is not right that something is hidden not all is always revealed to us we just have to go by intuition and know that when a relationship is ending you will feel it you will know it things will start to go wrong you just won't know why you, you keep trying you keep trying and it doesn't work out it's because it's over the lesson is learned it's time to move somewhere else there's someone else that needs you okay as we move forward there's going to be a lot of things that get burned away from our lives a lot of changes that are coming a lot of transformation in order for us to regenerate our energy regenerate who we are start a new path we need to be flexible too because life is going to sway us from one way or another. We're not going to exactly know which way to go, but it will be shown to us. The path will open up and it'll help bring us more peace into our lives, which is ultimately what we want. We want to live a peaceful life and we want to be happy, you know. We don't want a lot of hell every time we turn around. There's a problem. It's, it shouldn't be that way. Okay, and if it is, there's something wrong, it's time to go. And, you know, you can try to fix it, but it'll take a long time. And then eventually you might go anyway. So at least start looking at the possibilities that it may have to work out that way. Or you'll just have to work a little harder. Some things are just not for you at this time. There's wishes that you're asking for or people that you might want to get to know. It's not for you. Nope. It says nope on the little right there. Nope. Some things are just not meant to be yours or to stay or to deal with it. Not anymore. There's a tribe out there waiting for you, you know? There's your tribe waiting for you. So you got to get out there and start meeting some other people. That's where the magic begins. That's where serendipity will be there to meet you halfway, okay? And you need to be fair. You need to be fair with yourself and fair with others. Again, this is another judgment card or another card. You need to be fair with yourself as well, with, as, well as others. And right on top of her head is a little owl. You know, you're a very wise person. You make wise decisions. You just don't realize that. You think, oh, no, they're wrong. But they were right at that time because there was a lesson there to be learned. There was something, karma, something that you had to do. You made the choice, okay? But there is a loyal heart. There is somebody waiting for you. For those of you that are in a relationship already, that person could be the one for you. There's just work that you need to do. You need to balance. You need to be fair about things and know how much of it is your responsibility. You brought it upon yourself, this lesson that you're learning, because you need to learn from it, and the other person as well. You are with someone that's very important to you already. Some of you are single, and there's someone coming. But for those of you that are in a relationship, you'll know if you have to go, but if there's something to be salvaged, or you need to stay and work on something, do it. Because you have a loyal person with you, but just very karmic energy that you have to work through, and sometimes it's very hard do that but it's not impossible Thanks. it's time to focus your mind focus on your chakras try to work on your chakras and focus your thoughts on what you want your priorities need to be first of all you need to focus on your priorities thank you angels for helping me focus on okay my priorities exactly Focus on the priorities that you want to accomplish in your life and just go there. You're going to have an inner voice. You're going to have an angel. The angels are going to be talking to you and trying to guide you. Thank you, angels, for guiding me through my inner voice. Okay? 
going to help you focus on the priorities and tell you what your priorities are at this time so that you don't become unbalanced by other people and the way that they treat you or what they say. Open your heart. Thank you, Chamwell, for removing the barriers around my heart so that you can see people for what they are and experiences for what they truly are and maybe the underlying messages that are being given to you by others. It's time to express your creativity as well through your expressions of creativity, either drawings, writing, talking, whatever it is you do. It's going to help you and it's going to help others as well. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator and all the beautiful things that you have to say to others. Okay, And live your joy. It's time to start living your joy, expressing who you are. Focus on your priorities. Listen to your inner voice and open your heart. Because not everyone around you is supposed to be negative or say negative things to you. Find the joy that lives within you. Happiness, no matter what the situation is that you're going through at this time. Find it because it's there. It's there to be tapped into. And that's what's going to help you change your experience, what's happening in your life at this time. So that it gets better. The miracle of nature. Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. It's time to get out. No matter what the hell is going on, wear your mask, wear a hazmat suit, whatever you got to do, but get the hell out of the house. Go out. Spend some time in nature. It doesn't have to be around other people, but spend some time breathing fresh air, getting vitamin D in your skin, in the sun. Spend time outdoors, okay? You are being protected by Archangel Michael. This is the second deck today that I get. A protection card from Michael because he wants to let me know hey don't worry you're gonna be protected no matter what happens there is some transformation that is coming your way and it may feel a bit uncomfortable but if it transforms things from a very uncomfortable situation to something better then it needs to come there are synchronistic events that are going to help balance your life out take it take it because it's worth it you know and we do have a lot of spiritual support that surround us that will help us with that so it's time to do that don't hate meditate another meditate card spend time meditating obviously there's messages that will be coming through through meditation but if we don't take the time to quiet the mind and to listen to what is being told to us it's not going to be it's not going to be a fun time for us, so we need to meditate, we need to clear our thoughts. We need to know that some people that are around us are very loyal to us, and for some of you that are single, there is someone very loyal coming into your life. The angels, the guides, whatever, synchronistic events, the universe is going to bring it to you because you deserve it. You've done a lot of hard work, and you're working very hard on helping yourself and helping others around you, and it doesn't go unnoticed. It's just divine timing that we're working through and when the person shows up in your life no matter what it is female male whatever it is you need it'll come and when they come it'll be the perfect time and you'll know it because you'll have released a lot of baggage at that time okay remember we got the ten of wands that says that you have a lot of baggage that you need to release in order for transformation to happen in your life once you do that once you let go of responsibilities that are not meant for you and situations and people that really need to go from your life to make your life better and their life better then things will change I'm going to do uh, a quick interactive so one two three ABC I'm going to pick uh, just a few cards to, to see what's happening okay tarot card for each one Self helps. It's been a long day. Mm, an angel card. Why not? I didn't want to shuffle anymore. With that. And always remember that love is the strongest vibration, the strongest energy that you could have, that you could follow, that you could try to emulate. And pick 
pick any of the leaders and emulate them, try to, to figure out how it is that they were able to open their hearts up to love, no matter what happened to them. And just love. Show your love to those around you. Okay, those who picked A, you got the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords represents an air sign or it represents you. Trying to cut things out of your life that really no longer serve you, things that make you unhappy, things that, that you just don't need in your life anymore, okay? You need to get rid of it, even if it's your own emotions or the way that you think. Maybe it's just the way that you're seeing a, a situation. You need to change that so that things change for you. Friends are going to help you. You need to maybe open up to friends, talk to them, see if there's something they can help you with or something that you're doing that perhaps you can change. Your friends can be very nurturing and supporting at this time, namely an air sign or a water sign because we kept getting the queen of, of hearts. They're very nurturing and kind. So listen to your friends because some of them may have some really good information to give you. Gentleness and diplomacy. You need to become more gentle with yourself, first of all, because you may not have done anything wrong and the people around you are really dumping a bunch of garbage on you or they're just not treating you the way that you should be treated. So be more gentle and more diplomatic when you deal with others around you so that it, it lessens the stress that they're putting on you, okay? Abundance is coming your way, so don't worry about finances because right now you're being blessed with, with abundance. It, you may not always know where it comes from, but the universe is in charge of that. So maybe we're going to get that stimulus check that's going to help us a lot. And abundance doesn't necessarily mean money. It could be love, it could be abundance of friends, it could be an abundance of whatever it is that you desire, that you're hoping to achieve. All right, for those of you that chose B, miracles. Miracles, again, so more blessings, more miracles that are coming into our lives. Be aware that it is a possibility. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. You're being blessed by something that you desire. The King of Pentacles. So this is more organization with your money. Uh, there could be someone that's very wealthy or someone that's well off or very organized that comes into your life to help you with your finances. Or this could be a partner if you are looking for one or it could be your existing partner that's going to be very supportive with their money with their time during this this month during this week this could also be a a realtor or landowner somebody that can help you as you move forward trying to figure out where you're going spend more time in nature nature has a lot of answers for you it can help you relax your mind and your thoughts and also give you energy and strength we pull it from the earth that's where we go in the end, is where we come from. It's, it's part of us, so we need to stay connected. Okay. Pride and leadership. You are a leader. Don't give up. Okay. You know that you have your pride as well, and you are a leader, and people should listen to you. If you're not being respected where you are, then it's time to move on. You, know? you need to stand your ground and show them who you are. All right. The third card, the Nine of Cups, a wish that comes true, something that you have put out to the universe is coming back to you in the form of a wish, a blessing, more love, more patience, more money. What is it that you have wished for? Because it's coming, okay? The blessings are coming. Creativity is going to help you as well. Be able to create a better life for yourself, okay, with these blessings that are heading your way. Your guardian angel is speaking to you. It's going to help you. It's going to help guide you in the direction that you need to go. Pay attention to your nudges, your gentle nudges. They're never going to tell you to do something that is hurtful to you or another person. So keep that in mind. When you think that you're hearing an angel telling you what direction to go, if it's going to hurt you or another person, it's not an angel. It's just your ego speaking. You will know. Actually, you will kind of go in that direction anyway because when they speak, they actually urge you to do things. And it's not something that you do consciously. It's something that you do unconsciously. Okay, so you'll go in that direction. So don't be afraid if you're looking into different things or going in a direction that you have never gone in before because maybe that is where you need to go in order for you to be more peaceful. Here is near the ocean or in a place that's near the ocean or a place that's more beautiful with lots of flowers. Your angel is trying to help you. Pay attention. The swan. 
You know how they say the swan is an ugly duckling until it transforms into something really beautiful. This is the transformation card, the swan. Trusting the psychic gifts that you have. Trusting your psychic abilities to get you from point A to point B where your life is going to completely transform from what you are now to what you're going to become. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I know it was a little tough there. You know, but we're all poised to change our lives or for the gifts that are coming into our lives, you know. And we're doing the building blocks, you know. We're trying to build our lives little by little. And sometimes we're going to go through a rough patch, but we do have a higher power that's always guiding us. So right now we're learning a little bit of a difficult lesson, you know. We need to be quite the thinker and realize what's happening, a lesson that we're learning so that we don't choose the same way next time or make better choices or just feel, feel ourselves more think for ourselves more and that's when we get the rainbow that's when we get our milk and honey that's where we get the things that are wonderful for us for our own lives all right guys bye for now i love you have a nice week and i'll talk to you again next week and hopefully the cards will be better <laughs> bye